Hi everybody, it's Kelly Holland. I'm here with Lisa Somerville from Divinity Designs. Today we're presenting our beautiful backgrounds virtual event. This video will focus on square background eyes. And Lisa will go over some different ideas with you. I'm here to show you some card samples featuring our background eyes for squares. The first one up is our flourished square background. This is a set of two. You get the detailed die, and then you get a background layering die with the same shape. My first card sample uses the large decorative die. It's been cut to make a card base. And then another die cut that is adhered right to the top of it, so you can see that, so that the whole shape of the card is the flourish design. Next, we have this beautiful card that also uses some of the flowers from our beautiful blossoms, paper dye duos. If you have any questions on any of the products used in these cards, please use the leave a message feature on the front of our website. We can answer that for you. This one used some additional square cards for the center. Another pretty card. Do you love that delicate feature in the center? Beautiful graduation card. Just simple, but just classy. Some of our Bitty Blossom flower dies. So pretty. Here it is with some of our hummingbirds. A little bit of gems added. Give it some sparkle. A little bit of stenciling in the center. And here it is, black and gold. How classy. And that's the Flourish square background eye. Next is the Petals square background where you can see it has the openings to create the petal look. The first card, along with some additional beautiful blossoms, paper dye duos. This one's a shaker card. Just put a window sheet behind it, added some bling inside. Here's one with some pretty paper in the background. Some of our decorative circle dies in the center. This one was cut out a couple times and then added the cutout pieces back into the openings. It's a very interesting look. Here it is in green. Just trying to show you some different variety. This one's been mounted up to give more dimension. And there we have the petal square background. Next square die is the basket weave square background. It's a really fun die. It's a really cool look. There it is with our sunflower stamp die duo. Very pretty colors on this card. Very fall, fall looking. More beautiful blossoms. Just very striking in the white. And then here we have it with one of our gift gift pocket dies. And they put this in there. You could put a message in there like this card, or you can add a gift card. A little bit of bling. So pretty. Our last die to show you is the geometric square background. Another fun design. Just make sure you use a shim. Use a shim when you die cut. All the little pieces will fall out very nicely for you. More of a nautical card here. 
the seagulls. This one is used with one of our paper pads. This one's more of a contrast. Lifeguard Shack. And then more of our beautiful blossoms. Hi everyone, it's Lisa Somerville. In this segment of the video, I'm going to be sharing with you different layering ideas using our pattern square background dies. Our pattern square backgrounds coordinate with our square die sets and our square card base. The square card base when folded measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter and fits into a five and a half inch square envelope. Here you can see our basket weave square background on top of the square card base. As I mentioned, the square pattern backgrounds also coordinate with our square die sets. Now let's take a closer look at the square pattern backgrounds on top of the square die and the square card base. Again, this is the basket weave square background and here's the addition of the squares and the square card base. Geometric square background on the square card base the geometric square background, squares, and square card base, the petal square background, and the square card base, the petal square background, squares, and square card base, the snowflake square background, and the square card base, the snowflake square background, squares, and square card base, the flourished square background is a set of two dies. We have the layering die and the flourished square. Here you can see them layered together shown here on the card base, shown here with the square dies and the square card base. The Tropical Leaf Square Background Die is currently available in our April 2022 Blessings Box subscription kit. Here you can see it on a finished card. Here's the Tropical Leaf Square Background on the square card base and the Tropical Leaf Square Background squares and square card base. As you can see, there are many different combinations that you can create for your cards using our square die set. Another card using the petal square background, square card base with layer, the rainbow sherbet paper pad, along with two of our circles die sets, and the sentiment from the already there stamp set. On the purple card, you'll notice that I inlaid some of the die cut pieces back into the petal square background. Later in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do that. The first die is the square card base with layer die set. This is a set of two dies. When folded, this card measures five and a quarter by five and a quarter and fits into a five and a half square envelope. The square card base will die cut and score for you. The layering panel is five by five. Die cut and emboss this die following the directions for your die cutting machine. Embossing the die will bring out the details of the die. Here you can see the square base with layer die set cut from cardstock and the rainbow sherbet paper pad. The layer panel found in the square card base with layer die set is the same size as the petal square background die. So that way you can layer a piece of decorative paper behind the opening of the die. And here you can see it added to the card base. Now I know I haven't shown you the squares or the double stitch squares die set, but before we move on, I wanted to show you that you can also use one of the squares found in the squares die set as a layering panel to add a pop of color between the decorative background die and the base card. So on this card, we have the petal square background. Underneath that, a piece of pattern paper that was die cut with the layer die from the square card base, one of the square dies that I used as a matting die, and then the square card base. On this card, we're using the petal square background, squares die set, square card base with layer die set, and the Better Place stamp die duo I'm also using two of our circles die sets and our sentiment strips two die set. You can see that I've die cut, stamped, and embossed all the pieces that I'm going to need to create my card. Here's the embellishments that I'm going to be using on the card. The floral image and the sentiment are from the Better Place Stamp Die Duo. I have my two circles that have been die cut and embossed. My white die cut using the petal square background. 
The rainbow sherbet paper pad was die cut using the layer panel from the square card base with layer die set. Then I have my square die for a pop of color between the layer and the square card base. Again, as I mentioned, that layer die is the same size as my background die. So I can go ahead and turn this over and add adhesive to the back side and adhere that to the layer panel. You can adhere your layer panels using Fairly Art Craft glue, or you can place a thin strip of score tape along the border of the die. Because these two die cut panels are the same size, I'm going to use the score buddy to easily align these papers together. My panels are adhered together. I can go ahead and assemble my card. There's a couple different options that you have for assembling your card. Again, you can adhere this right to your square card base. You can add another die cut and embossed square behind the petal square background as that will add a pop of color between your petal square background and the card base. And then you can embellish your card. Or if desired, you can add the die cut pieces for an inlaid look on your card like you see here. I'm going to inlay some of the die cut pieces back into the petal square background. Next, we're going to take the petal square background and we're going to place a piece of removable adhesive that's cut just a little bit smaller than the die on the back side of the die. That way when I die cut, it'll hold the die cut pieces within the die. Now I can go ahead and die cut and emboss this die following the directions for my die cutting machine. So here you can see all the die cut pieces remain inside the die because I used that removable adhesive on the back side of the die prior to die cutting and embossing. This makes for a quick and easy way to add those inlaid pieces back into the die cut area. Using Barely Art glue, simply add little dots of glue to the cutout areas of the die that you want to inlay back within the die cut panel. Once the glue has been added to all the pieces that you want to inlay back into the die cut panel, turn that die cut panel over and place on top of the die cut piece. Now we're going to flip that over and we can remove the adhesive backing from the die. Now remember the adhesive that I used is removable. It's simply there just to hold those die cut pieces within the die. Next, I'm going to press down on the die cuts where I added the Barely Art glue to the back side. This is going to inlay those die cut panels within the petal square background. Now I can remove that top die cut panel and you can see the inlaid pieces within the die cut. Adhere that panel to the die cut embossed square panel. Add adhesive to the back side and then adhere to the base card. Now I'm all set to embellish my card. I can finish the card with a stamp sentiment and a few embellishments.
For more inspiration using these and additional Divinity Designs products, visit the product pages on our website, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Pinterest and Instagram.